Now, one of the things that came out of the show that I really didn't expect, I became a spokesman for old guys. <laughs> never wanted the job, <laughs> never asked for the job. I don't even like spokesmen. I like people who hardly talk at all. My best friend is a guy named Ed. He hardly ever says anything. And when he does, it's always something important like, that's a cop. <laughs> but here I am, a spokesman for old guys. I accept it. I know something about the subject. I know we tend not to get better looking as we get older. If it looks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's probably around my age. <laughs> I know men are pretty simple machines. There are four ways to get a man to eat anything. Put salt on it, put sugar on it, put barbecue sauce on it, or tell him you're going to throw it out tomorrow. <laughs> and at my age, honestly, going to the washroom is like going to a fireworks display. First of all, you stand there wondering if it's ever going to start. <laughs> then when it does finally get going, there's lots of oohs and ahs. <laughs> and you're never completely sure when it's over. <laughs> hey, Red Green here. This is really the first official announcement on my brand new tour coming next year. It's called I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe. It's all new stories and jokes and advice and the regular kind of useless yet somehow amusing information you've come to expect from me. I've been doing these tours the last few years and, and I've really enjoyed it and, and the audience has too or at least nobody got badly hurt. So I've decided to keep doing it until I stop. Now for this latest tour, we haven't finalized all the details yet, but I'll tell you what I know, and as usual, that won't take long. For the U.S. part, it's going to be starting around the end of March and end up probably the middle of May. The Canadian part, uh, starting probably the middle of September and finishing off the end of October. Uh, there may be a few exceptions, you know, because of the size of the country. Like, it might be better not to go to Washington State until we're already in British Columbia, but that, that's, that's for somebody else to decide. There are really only two things that you need to know. Number one, all of the information will be on redgreen.com and they'll keep updating it as it comes in. And the other piece is that the tickets for some of these places are going to be on sale before Christmas of this year. But again, just keep checking redgreen.com. Everything will be there. I, I hope to see you on the road in 2016. Until then, keep your stick on the ice.